Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about what a mosquito curtain is. A mosquito curtain is an alternative to a screen porch. Um, just think of a very, very high quality material, custom made. We can do slopes, notches, all kinds of things. With a perimeter webbing, double stitched, everything's marine grade. Now, why might somebody want a mosquito curtain over a traditional screen porch? Well, <clears throat> Maybe you're not ready for the permanence of a screen porch. Uh, these are significantly less expensive, anywhere from 25% of the cost of a permanent screen and porch. In our particular case, we had these beautiful spindle columns. And what the contractor told us is that we would have to frame around all that beautiful architecture and staple screening. And in our case, we just thought it would ruin the porch. So first of all, this is really, really tough, tough material. It's probably two, three, four times the thread weight of most uh, mosquito netting. And around the perimeter, we double stitch what amounts to a doubled over seat belt all the way around. The sides, whenever attaching to a wall or a column or something like that, we have these marine snaps that will do that for you. And just snap to the wall. We, can, we even have uh, male snaps for brick, adhesive snaps, vinyl siding, aluminum siding. Uh, so that you don't have to actually drill into those surfaces. The mosquito curtain is solution dyed. It will not fade. That's a big deal. It's a very big deal. It's what Sombrella does to their fabric. It's why Sombrella is as expensive as it is. So the sides are fastened with marine snaps. The doorways are magnetic doorways and they have a fiberglass rod stiffener in the middle of them and they have these super powerful rare earth magnets and they go like this. Now this is just kind of a mini panel sliding in a tracking system. These panels can be as tall as 12 and a half feet and as wide as a football field. These are just little minis of what we're talking about so you can get the idea. We can turn corners. Uh, we have curved track. We have different colors of track, like this black track here. Um, and then also in some cases when people have cement floors, they ask us to put on a protective webbing. And so what we'll do is we'll just take a, this uh, fat webbing here. We might sew it to the bottom to give it a little, uh, to let this interface with the patio rather than the bottom of the curtain. We have a number of different fabric types. Um, this first fabric is a noceum fabric. It's for little tiny, tiny biting flies called noceums. It has nothing to do with the visibility. It's very, very clear to see through, but it's really for this tiny, it's got small, small holes and it feels and looks like a black shear. This is the white version of the noceum mesh, right? This is a white mosquito netting. It's kind of a tropical look. This is our black. Probably 90% of people order the black because as you'll see later, it's crystal, crystal clear. We also have an ivory color for when white is just a little too white. Um, so we have this ivory color. We have a black shade mesh that blocks, it's been lab tested to block 80% of the sun. Um, offers a little bit of privacy. You can't really see very well here, but as you look into the light, it has amazing clarity. We have a white shade, rarely used for insect protection, actually used a lot for uh, outdoor projection screens, and we make a lot of those. Um, this is a color that we're experimenting with. It's a cocoa brown uh, shade material. We're not sure whether we're gonna keep it. And if we do, and currently this is not solution dyed. So this can fade, but if it does fade, it tends to fade evenly. Um, but if we decide that we're going to uh, offer this as a permanent product, we will make it solution dyed so it won't fade. That's pretty much all there is to it. You'll see in uh, later videos uh, how everything works and how everything goes together. But this is just a simple overview of what it is we do. Thanks.